Hello, uh, welcome. This is Tango Awareness 12. And this one we're going to do some women's technique. Uh, to remind you, women's technique means you have to move your own body, regardless the partner you're getting. So that's why all these exercises are to improve your muscles, your agility, your uh, the way you move yourself, how you sequence yourself uh, to move. So sometime uh, on the other class we did these back crosses, right? So for example, she's doing back crosses right now with her hands with mine. And these back crosses are not moving. Okay? So, what I want you to do now is, for example, these back crosses could be, can be done, see, again, reminding you with no touching. But these back crosses, for example, if every step I walk towards her, it can be gone into that direction. And I want you to do it just a little bit so you have a taste. Or these same back crosses, I could be walking a little bit back. And as you can see how she starts to really, really fight for it. And that's perfect. That's what we want. Yeah. I don't know why, but they love this, man. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And then we move that way. Just a little bit, not so deep. There you go. Keep your hands close to mine and no touching. And then we come back. There you go. And as you can see, that's perfect how she's fighting for. Yeah, no grabbing and big steps. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Very nice. And now you're getting tired. That's cool. All right. As you can see, a little bit when they start to get tired, you know, let go of the exercise, you know, it's not to mortify yourself, it's not to, so it's just a little bit so you get the hang of, of how it goes. Two things. When you do the back crosses, see, what you have to, for followers, what you have to be, be very vigilant is that you don't cheat. What do I mean by cheating? Uh, that she didn't do because she knows what she has to do, but you take a step, right? And you're gonna turn right now, okay? So the other leg, lift it up and turn. There you go. Without even touching the floor. Some of you, see, what you're going to do is are, are going to use this foot to, yeah, to step just like that and help yourself turn, right? Well, that's called cheating, okay? So none of that, none of that. And for leaders, if you see someone uh, doing that, please tell them, no, don't touch the floor, leave the other leg up, right? <clears throat> Be when you do that little change, do you understand them? Because they cannot push like that anymore, they're gonna enter into a turbulent zone. The body doesn't know what to do. But if you still wanting to do the exercise, what you're going to learn is that you have to use your hips to turn. You get it? And it has nothing to do with your legs, by your hips. And that's where the push has to go. But instead of having to explain this is much better and the exercise is designed so you have you will learn the experience by the necessity of uh, the exercise by the necessity of how to move so uh, let me uh, give it even a little tilt more which is show me the back crosses there you are no cheating, yeah, and lift the other leg very up so they can see, there you go, exaggerate it up, there you go, big steps, big steps, there you go, bigger, that's it, 
That's it. Very good work. Yeah, look at your hands. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks. So, <clears throat> let them work. Do you understand? Let them fight. At the beginning, yeah, it feels like, you know, ah, well, you haven't done this training before, so that's how it goes. Uh, being that said, uh, let's do uh, now uh, same exercises but with uh, front crosses. So, show me your front crosses with your hands where they have to be. Yeah, bigger steps. That's right. So these front crosses can be coming towards here. And watch your hands. There you go. Or it can be going towards that way. And watch your hands. Yeah, there you are. Or it can be, there you go. And watch your hands. Yeah, that's a good fight. You want to tense up a little bit? There you are. <laughs> that's it. That's it. This is good. This is a wonderful exercise. I mean, you should be doing... This is one of the exercises you should do a little bit every day. Uh, because it's the one that is going to give you the skill to really lift off to the next level. Uh, being that said, as you notice, for example, when she was doing this, the, the hands were moving like that, okay? So, what that means is that if we were using the embrace, all of those movements, those are the amount of pressure that she, she would have been using on me. Do you understand? Doing all this in whatever fashion we grab, do you understand? that creates, uh, you know, uh, pressure and stuff. And now that we are in the subject, let me clarify a little bit more to you why we don't want to use any type of uh, embrace pressure to lead our partners. And it goes like this. Our nervous system is designed uh, so it adapts constantly to the situation we are in. That means, for example, if I would put it like something that really strap my arms very, very hard, just, let's say just like this, at the beginning you will feel it, but if you leave it for two hours, you will almost not feel it anymore. And if you leave it for a day or two, you will start to spend time without even aware that that thing is uh, uh, pressuring you. What that means is that when you create any type of pressure with your partner, see, if you keep using that pressure, see, what you are doing is you are desensitizing yourself and your partner. Because if you keep it for a long time, let's say five minutes, your body will adjust and you won't feel as much and you will need to feel it again, you will need more pressure. You get it? So that cycle of building up pressure it mounts up to no end until basically you can see people dancing and grabbing like this each other and forcing each other and the reason is because they cannot feel. You understand? And that is why the importance of these exercises we're uh, just doing, which means we are de-escalating the, the, the tension and, and, uh, and uh, not feeling build up, you get it? We are de-escalating that. And we're doing exactly the opposite, which is to start to encourage on the partner you have and on yourself what's called hypersensitivity to put it in a in a in a nutshell what hypersensitivity is 
is that when you put these two hands like this, see, it's like going with a feather like this on her hand. Yeah, see, and she smiles. <laughs> you get it? Because this is uh, kind of, it makes you more sensitive. You get it? And that's the point. To make our hands sensitive and all our contact with each other very sensitive. Because that's when pleasure starts to come along. You get it? When you are very, very sensitive. So, the last exercise I want you to do is <clears throat> we put your hands like this, give me your back crosses, right? No touching, keep your hands with mine. And I want you to, while she keeps doing that with bigger steps, you shift your hands just like this, one up, one down. And she keeps doing the same exercise. There you are, watch your hands. There you are, watch your hands. Yeah, there you are, watch your hands, bigger steps. There you go, bigger steps. So basically you drive her crazy, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's good thank you see you move just like this just like this yeah any direction you think and when you move your hands it's not about uh, <clears throat> doing it too difficult see you keep them at the level that they can succeed always you understand if you grab a beginner first class First of all, you don't do this, right? This is just for more advanced. And if you are an advanced, <clears throat> see, don't start to play these games to be sudden like this, because if you do that, you are training them to fail. You understand? And you're not getting any better anyway. So, again, uh, as a leader, you have to learn that leading it's not about getting yourself a hundred percent of the time whatever you want but you have to comply with who you have in front of you so being a good leader part of it is that you move and you test if she's following and you move and you test like i just did with her and then when she knows she's following there we go together because it's a game to do it together and that's how it feels very very good so you have your exercises, keep the frame fun, cool, comfortable and happy. See you on the next class.